Today I'm going to focus more on the um, ratio scale. Um, for me the ratio scale is a better way to um, explain how a map, not how a map, but how a certain area was made smaller in order to fit it onto a piece of paper. As you can see there in the top right hand corner of the map that's where you'll find the ratio scale. That is what it looks like. One to 50,000 and then if we move to the bottom of the map you'll see that there's also a line scale or a linear scale that is what we spoke about in one of the previous lessons there it is it says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 kilometers and as I explained in the other video and if you haven't seen it then please go and watch it in order to understand what it's all about but like I said we are not going to focus on this today we'll be focusing on the ratio scale that we see here in the top right hand corner 1 to 50,000 right so here's my ratio scale, ratio scale 1 to 50,000 now what it basically says is that one centimeter on your map represents 50,000 centimeters in reality in other words, if you take your ruler and you measure exactly one centimeter on your map, then if you go to that specific place in real life, then you will find that it's equal to, or that it is, 50,000 centimeters. Okay, so let's make it really, really simple. Many of the kids in my class might ask me, Sir, but we still don't understand. And I love it because it's an honest question. So let's have a look quickly. Let's break it up. Let's make it really, really simple. Let's say we have Johnny. Here's Johnny. Johnny needs to eat a bit more. But anyway, so Johnny is in my class. And um, we get an artist to come and make a nice statue of Johnny. Okay, let's just write his name here, Johnny. And uh, we get an artist and we say to this artist, listen, we want a statue of Johnny. He's been the, the geek of the week. He doesn't Johnny! know whether he should be excited about it or not. So Johnny keeps a straight face. And um, this artist comes in and he makes a statue exactly the same size. Now, if we go... We take a ruler and we measure one centimeter on the statue's arm. Then we will find that it will be exactly the same distance um, on Johnny's arm. In other words, one centimeter on the statue will represent one centimeter on Johnny. Now, so the scale for the statue would then be one to one. Because one centimeter on this arm represents one centimeter on Johnny's arm. Right. Now Johnny isn't happy about all of this because he wants to take his statue home. He doesn't want to leave the statue at school. He wants to go and show his parents, Mom, Dad, look, I was the geek of the week. He wants this statue to be ten times smaller than him. So it's one tenth of his size. Now once again, I'm going to do a rough estimate here. Let's say this is 10 times smaller. And now if we take a ruler and we measure 1 centimeter here, then it will represent 10 centimeters on Johnny's arm. So now the scale would be 1 centimeter because 1 centimeter represents 10 centimeters in reality. No questions. That is the beauty of teaching on a video nobody asks me any questions but you can rewind this video as much as you like and eventually you will understand it. well let's hope so and now we can write it as a fraction scale once again and it will give you one tenth so let's wrap it up a statue is a representation of Johnny now the best representation of Johnny would maybe be to make the representation of him exactly the same size as Johnny but it's practically it's not the best way because he wants to take this representation of himself he wants to take that thing home and he wants to be able to carry it around with him and so in order to make this representation or the statue uh, more a more 
practical thing to carry around. We had to make it smaller. In the same way, a map had to be made, or not the map, but a certain area or a representation of a certain area had to be made a lot smaller in order to make it more practical so that you can fit it onto a piece of paper and then eventually use it in a classroom or wherever you are traveling, whatever the case may be. Thanks once again for tuning in. In the next lesson I'll explain how to use this ratio scale in order to calculate distance.